think just a bit too much mental strength from the number one seed against Gregoire? What do you think? He was nervous yesterday, he said it, losing that first game against the very informed Tumanin. Tumanin played very well for that first game against Marsh, and he was edgy. You know, this is a double size event from what he won last year. And also, and it's a pretty new experience for Gregoire Marsh because the last major tournament that was in France was back in 2008 in Paris, so he wouldn't have really featured in that. He might have been in the qualification. So uh, all eyes are on him, as it were. What song's that? All eyes on you. Two pack. Two pack. Yeah, two pack. To help you along there, Mr. Music Geek. Parking in the walking jukebox, literally. Yeah, I think Daryl Selby's going to have too much mental strength. strength. He's going to have too much in his locker for yes, Gregoire Marsh. Um, nope. It's a poor Make start from Daryl Selby, though, I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> you just make a step to the side. Yeah. I mean, that's, that should be a stroke. Yeah, ball was tied to the wall. You just step to the side. No, no. <laughs> but I'm not French, so. It's not, it's not close here. Yeah. Well, Daryl just making a comment about that, and uh, central referee uh, left there is actually from Germany. Left, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a bit of a shaky start from uh, everyone, very, including very the referee. I know, but it's a strange, strange decision, that one. Very strange. He couldn't have made any more effort than he did, otherwise he'd have flattened Gregoire. Marsh putting all the pressure on at the moment in these early stages. Daryl Selby just trying to soak it up and get into the match. I mean, Daryl will play his usual game here. He's not going to change much against Gregor Marsh. He's going to keep it quite patient, some long rallies, because he'll be testing the mental side, the physical side of Gregor Marsh's. Very, very good. Technically, you can see he's uh, sound, but it's that mental side. And in the past, when the rallies get a bit longer and he gets a little bit kind of headless, he starts to open the court out. And he can also make a lot of unforced errors. And the person that will thrive in that environment is actually Daryl Selby. Absolutely, and a great One, bit two. of skill and improvisation there from Selby. Very casual on that tarpoly forehand drop shot. Turned into a winner. He's got his first point on the board in the semi-final. No. Uh, just a bit of a lucky bounce there when it hits on the cross courts, when it hits the sidewall. Hand out. The nick between the sidewall and Three the back wall. One. Quite frustrating when that happens. Because it isn't actually a good width. Two, three. Well, Selby just leaving there and actually caught the foot of Gregoire Marsh. So. This is better from Daryl Selby. He's able to control the pace a little bit more now in the center of the court. Forcing Gregoire Marsh to do the, the scurrying.
Now Gregor Lamarche is officially the last French person in this event as Laura Pomport has just left the event. It's nicely uncomplicated for Walsh and it's proud and electrifying here for the number four seed. But uh, just onto it quickly, using his speed to Hand attack out. that ball and putting in the straight drop, not over complicating. When you've got somebody as quick as Marsh to get in there and put that straight drop in, it's such a damaging area. Not up. There's nothing worse, is there? You're playing Hand somebody out. that is Three, very, very quick and exploding and put in a straight drop with quality. You've got to move up, do a lot of work to try and respond to that. Certainly have one of the best uh, players I played against who did that when he was on a good day. It's Jonathan Power, especially front back. Out. Put in what you thought was a decent drop shot, and it would come back so much shorter and better than your own shot on a full lunge. Very, very frustrating. <laughs> good to watch when you're not actually on there with him, though. Yeah. That's a very good rally from Daryl Selby in response. Good strong signal to Gregoire Marsh. 4 0. Staying nicely in front of the Frenchman. Some good changes of pace here. Faster, slow, slightly slower. And we start the rally again. Just missing Nick there. Nice. here from Carl Selby's happy to restart the rally again. He's hitting his corner as well, Englishman. Well that was very clever for him, Gregor Marsh, because Darrell's used that a few shot down the middle. Which is a nice uh, kind of tester for the footwork. Gregoire was really there and quick improvisation, very quick improvisation. It was. It Made was it look difficult. easy. Yeah. And out 5 4. Now, Daryl Selby's uh, calling, sort of appealing on his pickup. He thought it was good. But no joy. Down the middle are quite uh, quite a good idea in these boasts from Gregoire Marsh, just to try and break the movement pattern of Daryl Selby a little bit because he does get into a really a real comfort zone in terms of his uh, fluid movement. Decision Selby, stroke to Selby, hand out five all. Just got to be a little bit careful when you do that when you open the court up as well. Very loose for Marsh. Yeah. 
Oh, c'est parfait, c'est parfait. Beautifully played by Gregoire. Hand out. Six, five. Yeah, it was very positive and he's confidence boosting. Yeah, eh? absolutely. He's going to have to keep taking those opportunities. Good Selby stage. will go on forever. He will go on forever and ever. Yeah, the squeeze. Well, I mean, he's hit uh, two opposite ends of the spectrum. The attack Seven, at the front, left hand five. corner, Randy previously, and then the ultimate length dying into that back corner on the forehand. Two point cushion. Thing is, though, Parkey, we've seen it time and time again with Daryl Selby, is that it looks like his opponent is building up some momentum, and when it does get to that crucial business end, oh. I mean, that is poor. You wouldn't see Daryl Selby doing that at all, really. And no. That was Six, poor. Yeah. It's a misjudgment. And, it, you know, two point cushion against Daryl Selby at this stage in a tournament like this is so. You have to work so hard to get that. And this is the, the side of Gregoire that I've talked about for quite a long time. It's suddenly giving away like such a bad, unforced error. It just instills more and more confidence in his opponent, knowing that uh, if they continue to keep solid, that he will start to falter. Yeah, Daryl Selby agree. plays those uh, plays those points. I mean, when it gets to game balls and tie breaks and back end of games, I mean, plays those as good as, as most of the top players really. Certainly doesn't give them away. He makes the opponent have to win. No, he's very tough, very tough mentally and and physically, and very experienced. Some great results. Oh, yes. The crowd calling. I think Daryl's pointing. Oh, me. Thought that uh, <laughs> thought it was the referee, Torsten, but it wasn't. It was just <laughs> no, uh, I didn't say anything. No, a big fan. No, 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 it wasn't me. No, no, sorry for that, but it's in the rules. You have to accept it. Well, it's everyone, does it? If one person does it, yeah. It's really cool too, yeah. Yeah, please, no noises during the rallies. Thank you. <laughs> Even for those that might, uh, yeah. And out. Tommy Trouble. Eight, six. <laughs> no noises during the rallies, but you are allowed to make noises. You make them all the time, don't you, Parky? Well, he, d he did say that it was in the rules and it was allowed, and then he told them to be quiet, so it's a little bit confusing. It's good that the referees are being so clear. That was a pretty slick attack. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, it was very good from the back of the court. Oh. Very low. What I liked about that as Nine, well is, I mean, he was six. in a good position to play it, but he was coming through onto the tee line to cover that ball. Nice rhythm to it from Gregoire Marsh. Deceptive. That is looking Ooh. tricky out there. That was, oh, my legs were going on that shot. I know. <laughs> and that is a, a rarity from Daryl. A real rar rarity, I was saying. Uh, well, it's rare as hen's teeth, Ten, isn't it? Six, it is, game ball. is where rare as hen's teeth. Four game balls. Great pick up. I had a woman say we. <laughs> well, I should have to wait until the interval. It's going to just be a standard let ball. Stroke to Serbia. Well, well he even Darren, a stroke. Well, no. Darren knows that that's not Seven, ten necessarily game ball. a stroke. You see his reaction to it. Direct line to the ball. See it here. Hand out, 7 10 game ball. Yeah, it should have just been a let, but it's um, still a three point cushion for Gregoire Marsh. And he's playing very well. He's timed that forehand exceedingly well, and that's going to be a stroke. Decision yeah, Marsh. That's going to be a stroke. Broke to Marsh. So Gregor Marsh flies off the court. Very impressive first game. I thought that 
Carol Selby would have made it a bit more difficult, but you've got to take your hat off to Gregoire Marsh. So far, he's kept a terrific control and concentration. 17 minute first game, the number four seed leads by one game to love. Well, it has to be said by Daryl Selby's standards, it was a poor first game, it made too many unforced errors, it's very unlike him. Still showed flashes of uh, his brilliance and experience and uh, ability to play long rallies, but Gregoire Marsh was really striking the ball well and showing some great touch at the front of the court, playing well from all areas. A little bit scrappy at times from both, but I think that was due to Daryl Selby not reaching his full potential here. One love, Gregoire Marsh.